the Reformation in two minutes. In 1517, an Augustinian monk named Martin Luther nailed a set of 95 theses to the castle church door in Wittenberg, and this was the fuse that lit the Reformation. In these theses, Martin Luther said that he objected to the practice of the sale of indulgences, which were these pieces of paper that you could buy that would give you a certain amount of salvation. And this was based in a theological understanding that salvation was not purely a free gift from God, but also had to be earned through our works, through our giving, even through buying forgiveness, literally buying forgiveness and indulgences. And so this kicked off um, a series of theological disputes, uh, a series of essays from Martin Luther, who himself was a biblical scholar, who was a theologian, who was a monk, and then left the monastery and started this new movement called the Lutheran Church. The Reformation took place in the 1500s and into the 1600s, um, and it set off a, a cascade of reformations across the church, giving birth to the Anglican movement, uh, giving birth to the Reform movement. Uh, Lutherans were the first Protestants, and then all other Protestant traditions followed along on Martin Luther's insights. And it was not just a, a religious, but it was also a political and social and economic uh, reformation or revolution that was happening at that time. At that time, there was only one holy Catholic church, and there was one holy Roman Empire. And Luther's theology, this truth that he said that we are justified by grace through faith, became the spark, this theological understanding of who we are and who God is and what God wants for the world, created this spark, which created essentially the modern world.